Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on endothermic reactions. An endothermic chemical reaction is one that absorbs energy from its surroundings. Now, this runs counter to what most people think when they hear the words chemical reaction. Most people think of things like fire and heat when you say chemical reaction. That is, a release of energy such as heat and light. But an endothermic reaction is the exact opposite. When an endothermic reaction takes place, the reactants absorb energy, so the surroundings will actually get cooler. A good example of this are cold packs. You may have used one of these before. By squeezing the bag, you break a water pouch, allowing the water to mix with ammonium nitrate. The reaction between water and ammonium nitrate is endothermic. This causes the temperature of the bag to decrease rapidly, and you can use the cold bag to relieve your pain or swelling. We can apply what we have learned here to other reactions. For example, you have probably heard of the product Alka-Seltzer, used for treating upset stomach. Alka-Seltzer is mostly sodium bicarbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. So the question is, is the reaction of Alka-Seltzer and water endothermic? Let's test it to find out. So what we have set up here is a beaker with a temperature probe in it and it's measuring the temperature of room temperature water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording right now and what we'll get is a plot of a graph to see uh, what the temperature is and it looks like it's around 17.9 uh, degrees or right around 18 degrees and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Alka-Seltzer tablets and put them in the water and see what the change is. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now what we know about endothermic reactions is that they absorb energy from the environment. That is, they will actually cause the surroundings to get colder not warmer. Now if we look carefully at our temperature graph, we'll see that the temperature is significantly dropping. We're down to about 17.4 degrees and we continue to drop. So as this reaction is occurring, it's absorbing energy from the environment and the beaker full of water is actually getting colder. So it turns out that Alka-Seltzer plus water is indeed an, a good example of an endothermic reaction.